Hey Switchheads, how's you going? Kanan here and welcome to my review of Sun Wukong vs Robots. Why not hit that like and subscribe button before we get going to keep yourself up to date with my latest videos and content. And whilst you're down there, for now, for now, why not just go ahead and click that link to take yourself to our community Discord and join our growing family. And so, it's time to see whether Sun Wukong vs Robot has what it takes to make it onto the Wall of Fame, or the Wall of Shame, or maybe dwindle somewhere in the middle. And so, let us battle our way into the gameplay. Okay, so story-wise, you are awake in the middle of a mechanical maze armed with his legendary weapon. You must then defeat four robots to free yourself from the mine locker that is placed on his head. And although that is pretty well what you're going to get out of the story and it's not really kept up within the actual game, Sun Wukong is actually a thing. You might want to go and look it up. There's actually some pretty um, interesting things on the internet and also here on YouTube as well. And with that, let's have a look at the actual gameplay. Well, Sun Wukong is actually a Metroidvania game. And basically, you have your health and mana at the top. You also have like an XP counter, which builds up the more robots you actually defeat. And basically, you can use these in a shop to buy new abilities, items, health, mana, that sort of thing, and each costs a different amount of experience. I find the system, actually I, I quite like the system, it was quite unique, well to me anyway. The more you do and less you skip, the more you can actually go and buy and use. And also whilst playing the game, you kind of like find these teleporters and they teleport you to different places where you can find these like orb things and basically unlock these different abilities. Some like throw like fireballs, some with lasers and other little things. All of them have their uses, but I kind of like find that I stuck with certain ones like the laser to kill like whole hordes of enemies. The game's pretty standard control wise, you'll be running, jumping, using your sword and then you have different buttons to activate all your other powers and I found the actual controls quite fluid and you know I never died at any stage and thought well that was the controls that knackered me up, it was always my fault as you would expect. I did actually find the game quite difficult but dotted around the actual game there are these like mana and health like orbs that you can destroy and pick up what's left over once you've destroyed them. And this did really help sort of like get me further within the game, luckily enough. And there's even some ones that do all your mana up or all your health up, which also is very useful. As sometimes you find yourself limping along with very little health, trying to avoid enemies rather than taking them head on. All I can say is thank goodness they put save points here and there as well. There are bosses within the game and each time you take one on and defeat them, you get one of your like gem things removed from your head. Now I will say also that the game to a lot of actual hardcorers would be a little bit on the short side for them. Now you can look at the map which is rather small. If you compare them to other Metroidvania games this is actually quite tiny and I think that might hinder itself quite a lot. Now the price bracket's actually quite small which is good but the actual length of it may turn a lot of those hardcore players off. Although it does have like the ability to go and speed run them as timers are actually implicated within the actual game. But I also think that anyone that wants to get into a Metroidvania game, this is probably a very good start for them. And whilst I'm finding it a very hard game, it's not so hard that it makes me want to, well, obliterate my Switch. Graphically, it definitely gives me that Metroidvania type feel to the whole like game. I like the fact that there does seem to be quite a few different enemies and the environments do actually change the further in and you know the different areas that you go into as well. And the differences in the bosses is quite cool as well so you're not just playing a reskin of all the other bosses and i do actually like the effect when you actually save the game as well audio blee yeah again it's very sort of like metroidvania what you'd expect from one and there's some neat sound effects that you might recognize within the game from other things which i'm not going to mention but when you hear them you'll know what they're from 
I absolutely love the chinking sound, the metal sound that your sword makes whenever you hit most of the actual objects within the game. And the music stroke atmospheric sounds in the background is pretty cool as well. The good, it's hard but not to the point that you just want to scream. It looks neat and I do like some of those sounds as well. And it plays and controls really well. Pricing seems good as well. The bad. The shortness I think will put quite a few people off. I think the hardcore players may be looking somewhere else instead of here because of that reason. And I think there are other Metroidvania games out there that is priced the similar area but also is a lot longer as well. The score. My score is based on my own feelings and thoughts about this game and I'm going to give it a 3 plus out of 5. And I'm fully aware that if you're a hardcore player and length is something that you definitely want out of your Metroidvania games, I think you'll probably take a point off that or just half a point and put it down to a 3, which would make it pretty well an average Metroidvania game. But I think people like myself that aren't hardcore players and maybe people that are coming into the genre are new may find this a good beginning for their like venture within this type of genre. And as for my alternative, I'm going to suggest Sundered, a really good game that I've actually played. And it's fun, it's kind of a Metroidvania game, but it's slightly different. And yeah, I really enjoyed this game. It has so much to actually do, it's huge. And I think most Metroidvania fans will probably enjoy it as well. And if you've got a better suggestion for an alternative, leave it down in the comments, always appreciated. And also, what are your thoughts on Sun Wukong vs Robot? Do you think you'll be picking it up or are you just going to leave it? Let us know down in the comments, that's after all where it all belongs. And why not hit that like and subscribe button to be kept up to date with all my latest content, reviews, sales and the like. And also why not think about joining our community discord, we're a bunch of lovely people and we love to chat to new people as well. Because life is better when we switch together.